What makes a truck go beyond from being just a mode of transport to an everlasting icon? Is it the power and roar from an era-defining V8 engine? Or the timeless resilience of a mid-century design built to last generations? We'll travel from the pioneering days of the early 20th century to the high-performance age of the 1990s, exploring trucks that have etched their names in the annals of history. So here are nine most epic classic pickup trucks of all time. And starting from the 1964 Chevrolet C10 pickup, a classic in the truck world, is renowned for its iconic design and robust performance. Redesigned with a flatter windshield and an easier-to-access cab, it marked a new era in Chevy's truck line, featuring the first self-adjusting brakes. Under the hood, it embraced the modern V8 era with standard 230 and 292 cubic inch six-cylinder engines and an optional 283 cubic inch V8 for those seeking more power. Dimensionally, it boasted a substantial build, ranging from 115 inches in wheelbase for the short model to 199.5 inches in length, encapsulating the sturdy and reliable nature of classic Chevy trucks. It's only luxury, an AM radio, and distinctive design choices like the white grille or high shine anodized aluminum for deluxe models, and the choice between smooth fleet side or fendered step side versions further underscore its vintage appeal. This 1964 model stands out as a vintage classic, cherished by collectors and enthusiasts alike. The 1941 Willys Pickup, a rare gem in automotive history, is more than just a utilitarian vehicle. Originally produced by Willys Overland Motors, known for military-grade Jeeps, this pickup is a distinct departure from the company's usual focus. Sporting a radiant red metallic finish, custom features like shaved door handles, a chrome grille, and polished aluminum wheels, it's a blend of classic design and modern flair. The interior boasts leather bucket seats, air conditioning, and a full-gauge set, encapsulating both comfort and style. Powered by a 350 CID Chevrolet V8 engine and featuring a four-speed automatic transmission, this pickup is a testament to engineering prowess. With its unique place in history and custom restorations, the 1941 Willis pickup stands out as a collector's dream, symbolizing a fusion of wartime utility and post-war creativity. The Dodge Power Wagon, spanning from 1946 to 1968, stands as a monumental figure in the realm of 4x4 trucks. Born from the rugged DNA of Dodge's 1942-1945 military trucks, it emerged as the first civilian 4x4 pickup. Its journey began under the title WDX General Purpose Truck, evolving into the iconic Power Wagon, a name resonating with historical significance in the trucking industry. Characterized by its military-influenced design, the Power Wagon flaunted a formidable grille, a substantial bumper, and a capacious 96-inch long cargo box. Initially powered by a 230-cubic-inch flathead inline-six engine, it later embraced a 251-cubic-inch variant. This truck wasn't just about brawn. It was smart, too. Equipped with a four-speed manual transmission and a two-speed transfer case, ensuring unmatched capability. Through its lifespan, the Power Wagon underwent several evolutions, adapting and refining its robust design. It was more than a vehicle. It symbolized power, resilience, and the pioneering spirit of Dodge's engineering, etching its legacy as a favorite among classic truck enthusiasts and collectors. The Datsun 620, produced by Nissan from 1972 to 1979, was a compact pickup that left an indelible mark in the automotive landscape. Renowned as the Lil Hustler or Sport Ruck, it boasted a range of models and features, including short or long beds and regular or king cabs, powered by a 1.6 to 2.2 liter engine. Its sturdy frame supported a 1,000 pounds payload and 2,000 pounds towing capacity. With a utilitarian yet customizable interior, the 620 became a canvas for enthusiasts. Its front disc brakes, rear drum brakes, and reliable suspension contributed to its enduring popularity. The Datsun 620, succeeded by the Datsun 720 in 1980, remains an icon of reliability and versatility in the compact pickup realm. 
The Toyota pickup, famously known as the Hilux during its third generation from 1979 to 1983, stood as a paragon of rugged reliability and versatility. Boasting a front-engine, rear-wheel drive configuration, it offered a choice between a four-speed manual or three-speed automatic transmission. Engine options spanned from a 1.6 to a robust 2.4 liter, delivering 65 to 97 horsepower. With a wheelbase ranging from 103.5 inches to 110.8 inches and an overall length varying from 174.6 inches to 193.7 inches, the pickup provided flexibility to suit diverse needs. Notably, it featured an independent front suspension with torsion bars, a solid rear axle with leaf springs, and effective front disc brakes paired with rear drum brakes. The Helux accommodated a payload of 1,100 pounds and could tow up to 3,500 pounds. Its straightforward yet comfortable interior, coupled with optional features, made it a favorite among enthusiasts. The Toyota pickup's legacy continued with its successor, the Toyota pickup, fourth gen, embodying the brand's commitment to durability and adaptability. The Jeep Gladiator, a robust full-size pickup with a production span from 1962 to 1988, epitomized durability and adaptability across its diverse iterations. Crafted by Willis Motors, Kaiser Jeep, American Motors Corporation, and Chrysler, it shared its platform and front end with the esteemed Jeep Wagoneer. Available in both rear-wheel and four-wheel drive configurations, the Gladiator offered a manual or automatic transmission and a range of engine options, including gasoline and diesel variants. With variable wheelbase length spanning 100.2 inches to 165 inches, the Gladiator showcased versatility tailored to different needs. Boasting a payload capacity of 1,000 pounds and a towing prowess of 3,500 pounds, it proved itself as a workhorse. Its robust underpinnings included an independent front suspension with torsion bars, a solid rear axle with leaf springs, and effective front disc brakes complemented by rear drum brakes. Inside, the Gladiator presented a utilitarian yet comfortable space with a bench seat, a floor-mounted shifter, and a functional instrument panel. Enthusiasts embraced its reliability, making it a sought-after canvas for customization and modification. The Jeep Gladiator's enduring appeal stems from its unwavering dependability and its role as a versatile platform for those who crave a truck that can adapt to their every need. The Ford Lightning, a powerhouse sport truck born from Ford's SVT division and based on the F-150, left an indelible mark from 1993 to 1995. Pioneering the concept of a performance-oriented pickup, it packed a punch with a 5.8-liter V8 engine churning out an impressive 240 horsepower and 340 pound-feet of torque mated to a four-speed automatic transmission. The Lightning's distinctive character extended to its sporty suspension, 17-inch wheels, and a uniquely crafted exterior available in the bold hues of black, red, and white. Limited to a production run of 11,563 units, it became a sought-after rarity. Beneath its sleek exterior, the Lightning showcased a payload capacity of 1,100 pounds. Boasting acceleration from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.6 seconds, it combined power with practicality. Its front disc brakes, rear drum brakes, contributed to its dynamic performance. Inside, the Lightning featured a simple and functional interior, complete with a bench seat, a floor-mounted shifter, and a basic instrument panel. Its reliability and versatility endeared it to a wide customer base, while enthusiasts cherished it as a canvas for customization. The Lightning's legacy continued with the second generation in 1999, marking a new chapter in Ford's pursuit of performance in the pickup world. The Ford Ranchero, produced from 1957 to 1979, was a unique vehicle, combining the utility of a light pickup with the comfort and riding characteristics of a car. It was particularly notable for its cargo capacity, which was marginally higher than the half-ton F-Series pickup. Throughout its production, the Ranchero underwent several changes, adapting to market trends and consumer preferences. 
In 1960, the Ranchero was redesigned to be smaller, based on Ford's compact Falcon. This change was a response to the popularity of small, economical cars and the economic recession of the late 1950s. The Falcon Ranchero, as it was then marketed, featured an 800-pound load capacity and a variety of engine options, including a 144-cubic-inch straight six and a 260-cubic-inch V8. Over the years, the Ranchero evolved in design and features, reflecting the changing styles and technological advancements of the automotive industry. Despite its discontinuation, the Ranchero remains a notable example of the coupe utility vehicle blending the attributes of a passenger car and a pickup truck. The 1917 Ford Model TT marked a significant milestone in automotive history as Ford's first purpose-built truck. This truck was introduced on July 27, 1917, and was essentially a more robust and durable version of the Model T, designed specifically for heavier-duty work. It was known for its durability, but it was comparatively slow with a recommended speed of no more than 15 miles per hour with standard gearing and up to 22 miles per hour with special gearing. It was initially sold as just a chassis, leaving the buyer responsible for supplying a body. This approach allowed for a wide range of customizations, depending on the buyer's needs. Over the years, Ford offered various modifications and improvements to the Model TT, including different gearing options to address its power and speed limitations. In 1928, the Model TT was replaced by the Ford Model AA truck. The introduction of the Model TT was a pivotal moment in the auto industry as it addressed a growing need for vehicles that could handle more substantial loads and provide greater utility for work and deliveries. The Model TT's design and concept laid the foundation for the future of trucks, leading to the development of more advanced and capable models in subsequent years.